Have y'all ever seen a TikTok trend that just made you like snap to attention and be like, what in the world is about to happen here? Or maybe the ones that you're like snacking on your popcorn waiting to the end like, yeah, that's not going to turn out really well, but I'm here for it. You have? Well, great. Let's talk about a TikTok that may have happened in a town near you. Welcome back, crime solvers, to Real Hair Crimes exclusively on the Babe Hair Extensions channel. Hey y'all, like and subscribe and leave us a comment if you are loving these videos. We want to bring you more exciting content. Also, if you have a story, reach out. <laughs> so let's get into today's story. This was years ago that I had done fusion extensions on a client and this particular client was from a very wealthy neighborhood and I mean she could afford anything and she could have obviously afford to buy professional products, great hair extensions, like all the things. So she came in for her maintenance appointment and she was complaining that her hair was falling out. And I noticed in fact, like it was noticeably thinning, but I couldn't figure out why because the hair extensions were done really correctly. Everything was great. We had gone over aftercare really well. Everything seemed to have been good. So I started really going through every single thing that she was doing with her at home maintenance. And as it turns out, she saw on TikTok that using Dawn dish soap, would help remove any dirt and oils and cleanse her scalp from any grease. What in the world? <laughs> so she had been using that on her hair and her hair extensions and it was literally causing her hair to fall out. So after that, I made a point to educate everyone in my chair to never use dish soap and we're an equal opportunist here. It doesn't matter if it's Dawn or something else, no dish soap uh, because it was like literally the craziest thing I have ever seen in my life. Her hair literally fell out. And again, I was like so confused because this person could afford to use any professional product in the world. So why in the world did she choose this TikTok trend over professional hair care? Not entirely sure, but I had to redo everything for her. And then I had to choose a scalp treatment and do all kinds of things. And it was just a mess. And of course I charged her for it, but like, <laughs> seriously, what in the world? Okay, friends, so here's the thing. TikTok is awesome. We love TikTok. Um, TikTok makes, <clears throat> unfortunately, the world go round, but like, it is what it is, right? Um, and again, if you're here for like the, like, mm, I can't wait to see how that's gonna end up, or if you're here for like an actual like help or whatever, TikTok is great for both. But when it comes to your hair and your hair extensions, follow your professional not the TikTok trends. So the real hair crime in this situation was using a common household product instead of what your stylist has recommended, okay? So let's break this down a little bit more. Um, when you arrive as a client to get your hair, hair done or hair extensions done or whatever the case may be, um, typically a conversation goes something to the effect of what are you currently using um, on your hair right now? Is it working? Is it not working? Do you feel like there could be something better? Um, or are you comfortable with what you're using? Um, we like to know these things, especially if you're a new guest to us, because we wanna see what your hair is responding to and what it's not responding to. The problem comes in when we're talking specifically with extensions. Um, now, trends are great, you know, again, like we're not calling social media like a whole problem, but there is a right way and a wrong way to take, take care of your hair extensions. And when it comes specifically to your hair extensions, we want to make sure that you're using the right products to protect your investment um, every time. So the real hair crime in this situation was using a common household good on your professional hair care ex or professional hair extensions. Okay. It should never be part of your hair care routine. How do you solve that crime? Just follow the recommended guidelines that we give you. Look, we love TikTok, we love social media, we love all these things. Um, and some things on there are really, really great, okay? So we're not knocking the platforms or anything like that, but we are saying that we are recommending, we're prescribing basically um, great shampoos, conditioners, uh, heat protectants, all of the things, because we know they work and they're really much better on your hair and your hair extensions. 
Because otherwise you do kind of fall into this thing where like if you're using something over and over and over, um, it can actually make your hair fall out, like your actual hair. Um, so follow our recommended guidelines for your best practices. <laughs> um, we don't say these things to just hear ourselves talk. We say these things because they really do work, okay? So if you are looking for something that actually removes like oils, grease, whatever, like out of your hair, like if your hair is like more prone to like greasiness or whatever, we actually do have a myriad of shampoos that we can actually um, give you. So ask your hair care professional, ask your stylist, if you're you know, a client, hey, my hair is tending to be a little bit more oily or whatever, I do have hair extensions in, what would be the best thing to use, okay? And I'm sure your stylist will be able to come up with something that is still a professional product that you can use on your hair extensions, okay? So follow recommended guidelines from your professional stylist and not your TikTok stylist, okay? Um, I do also wanna give you guys kind of a little bit of a breakdown with, um, what dish soap actually does, okay? So here's some fun facts for you. So dish soap actually has a pH of around 11, and that's super high on the scale, okay? So to put things in perspective, your hair is like a 4.5 to a 5.5 on the pH scale, okay? Seven is typically a very neutral number, okay? So with that, your, your dish soap is extremely high on that scale okay most shampoos are going to be anywhere in the vicinity of like a three to a nine um, just depending on the brand okay so you can do a little digging into um, the brands that your stylist carries Silas um, do you guys want to know more about pH levels of your brands talk to your uh, brand rep or you know do a little digging into what your pH levels are so if you do end up with that question you're able to answer it okay um, with dish soap, it actually opens up the hair cuticle much like a bleach or a lightener would, okay? So let's talk about the little process of this. And I'm not saying, because a lot of people love to misconstrue things, I am not saying that a lightning service is a bad service, okay? Um, everything obviously done correctly will be good for the hair, okay? Uh, but what I am saying is a dish soap will open up that cuticle much like a lightener would, okay? So think about a banana, okay? Um, so when you peel that outer part of the banana, the skin of the banana, um, you're left with like that actual fruit inside, right? Your hair is kind of the same way. That outside layer is your cuticle layer, okay? So when you're peeling back that layer, you're exposing what's underneath or like the main proteins and amino acids of your hair, okay? So blowing that cuticle wide open without being able to actually seal it back down properly is dangerous because it um, incurs damage and brittle hair and all these other things, right? A lot of dryness. Um, with your shampoos, um, most of them have some sort of conditioning agent um, in them and they're designed to slightly just lift the cuticle level, if at all, okay? So they're not gonna blow it wide open, they're not gonna really get in there and you know destroy or you know damage the hair. It's not gonna be a dry or brittle feeling in your hair, okay? Um, so most of these shampoos, the professional shampoos, are going to have some sort of like slight conditioning agent in there. They're only going to lift the cuticle layer a little, okay? Um, with dish soap, there are um, no conditioning agents, no, you know, nothing. It's designed to just strictly strip oil. That is it. That is their job. So think about your dishes, again, you know, with your dish soap. Um, the whole reason that we're using it is to remove all the grimy bits, all the oils, all the things, right? So think about that as it turns into your hair. You're basically like just removing all good properties of your health, like healthy scalp. You want some of those oils to help nourish the hair strand. You want some of those things um, to really just keep your hair and your scalp healthy. Okay, not saying that excessive oil isn't a problem, we all know it is, but that's why there's like a clarifying shampoo or something like that that your um, stylist can recommend to you specifically, okay? And those again are formulated much differently because the pH is a lot different and the actual formulation of the um, shampoo itself is different, okay? So just a couple little, you know, tidbits of information when it regards to dish soap versus shampoo, we always want you to use a shampoo that is recommended by your professional. Okay, um, stylists, if y'all aren't staying on top of what your clients are using at home, start doing it, okay? <laughs> we want them to always have the best of the best. 
give them the best care that they possibly can, give them the best product you can possibly provide for them, okay? That way their experience is great every single time. So there you have it. That's all I got for you today. What crimes will we come up with next? You'll have to wait and see. But until then, if you are a client and you love just information in general, we do have our TikTok um, at Babe Hair and our Instagram at Babe Hair for more laughs and learns. You are welcome to use those as you want. We will promise we will put out the best and most accurate information always possible to you. Um, if you're a stylist and you want more tips and tricks, head on over to babehairextensions.com and check out our Solutions Academy Babe you. Remember, we have monthly subscriptions, we have yearly subscriptions, and we have a couple of freebie videos for you. So you can choose what you prefer to watch um, whenever you want to watch it and whatever your um, monthly subscription or yearly subscription level looks like. Uh, we have a lot more stories coming your way. Remember, we put out videos almost every Friday, so hang in there with us. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Until next time, crime solvers.